Hi guys and welcome back to ingvid.com. Today we are doing accommodation and particularly London accommodation. What do you do? You come to London, you need to find a place to live. This could apply for anywhere in the UK. If you don't know someone and have a place to go to, you might need to check out a website like Gumtree or rightmove.co.uk. Now what we're gonna be doing in today's lesson is looking through a couple of different um, sort of flats, apartments that I found on the internet and talking through the key phrases. And then we'll talk about useful questions to ask if you were to visit a house that you wanted to live in. So I've um, obviously, question number one you have to ask yourself is how much money can I afford to give? So. London accommodation can be a little expensive, so I gave myself a, a budget. Budget is the maximum I can spend of £800 a month. Sounds like quite a lot. Um, what I found was a bedsit, a cosy, meaning a comfortable bedsit, which was priced at 195 PW, that means per week, okay? Now, some of the useful phrases I found um, on, on this advert for this particular place was that it was a cosy bedsit. So this means comfortable. You could also say that it means small, okay? So it's meant, the, the positive is mm, nice and comfortable, but the positive, ah, there's no room, okay? A bedsit. What a bedsit means is that there is a bedroom but there is no living room. There is no room for uh, television, sofas, chairs. It's kind of bedroom, kitchen, okay? So it's quite a small, small flat. Presented in, um, that's just a load of crap, really. So you kind of just go, oh, it's in a charming, what does that mean? Nice. It's in a nice period, just means old. It's in a nice old building. Okay, so it's a small place in a nice old building. It has an open plan. That means if I'm lying in bed, I can see the kitchen, okay? There's no wall between bed and kitchen. That, so open plan means no wall, okay? No wall. Um, fully fitted kitchen. So we talk about uh, when a kitchen is fitted, it has a refrigerator, maybe there's a microwave, boom, put your pizza in, or um, heat up some food, there's a kettle, maybe a dishwasher, I can clean my clothes, those kind of things would be a fully fitted. So I can do everything I need in the kitchen. A shared bathroom. To share, if I share my pen with you, then you can use my pen. So if I'm sharing a bathroom, then someone else is peeing on the toilet seat, okay? Um, selected sky channels. So that does not mean all, all, no. It means the landlord chooses what I can watch on the sky. So typically one sport channel and a couple of um, useless channels that you don't really want to watch. The rent includes, that means it's 195 a week. I don't have to spend more on electricity, water, gas, etc. And then at the bottom of the advert, it says to arrange, that means to organize. I'm looking at it because I've got the advert here, so I'm you know just scanning through it. Um, to organize a viewing, that means to have a look round. Um, please call, well, the number's, uh, what's well, she called, Maria, on 0755-7911-636. Maria's gonna get loads of calls now. Sorry, Maria. Um, but maybe it's good practice for her because she's clearly Spanish, so she can uh, practice speaking English to you guys. <laughs> um, double bedroom. This is um, in a slightly different part of town. So this place was in Earl's Court, nice sort of central part of London. 
My next one is in Shoreditch. This is like the super cool kind of we're arty people in sort of East, East London. And here you have a double room. That means there is a bedroom somewhere where I sleep and then there are other people who I am sharing with. Okay, so I'm sharing with other people. Maybe there's three bedrooms. Now, my key features. A feature is a, a good point, okay? It has an eat-in kitchen. That means I make my food boiling. I, I've made a cooking video, you should check it out. Uh, so I'm, I'm cooking in the kitchen and then I can eat in the kitchen because there is a table to sit at. So eat in means plus table, hopefully with a chair as well. Again, all bills are included. So my, my price here, my price here, I don't know where I like that, there, 145 a week. That's, um, so for a month that's gonna be, what, who's good at maths? 580 a month, not too bad, okay? So it's gonna be cheaper if you are sharing with other people. And maybe quite good practicing English with them as well. Now, this place has numerous windows throughout. That means a lot of, or many. Yeah, you can see the root numero from the Latin, it means number. So there's lots of windows all over the place, making it full, Full. My glass is full of water. This house is full of natural light. So that means, you know, light from outside comes in, which is, you know, good. Except in winter when there isn't much natural light. Now, they want something from you. I'll tell you something. These adverts, many people are looking at these adverts and they're going, hello, can I come and have a look at your house, please? So these people, these people are choosing you in, in London, okay? So what do they want? They want you, you must be, okay? An imperative, you must be an easygoing person. That means, yeah, I'm okay, no problems. I just, you know, I pay my rent and I go to work and I'm cool. Yeah, easygoing, no problems. A no problems person and sociable, okay? from the same sort of root as society, means a collection of people. So if I'm sociable, I like talking to people. I don't just sit in my room and read my magazine and then go out. I have to be able to talk to people. So very good if you're an ESL student. And it says a pretty, which means quite. These are quite English sort of uh, adjectives. Pretty, quite. Uh, a bit, because we like to be polite in our speech. We, we, don't say, we don't say things kind of very directly. So we say, it's a little bit of a flexible contract. What that means is you don't definitely have to stay there for a year. You could stay for a shorter amount of time. Now, I'm not gonna give this person's number out because I'm a bit worried about poor old Maria over there, but um, I'm gonna give Laura a ring and um, see if we can go and Pay her a visit, back in a sec. Oh, hi there, Maria, yes. My name is Benjamin. Yeah, no, I saw your advert on Gumtree. Mm, yeah, it looks really nice. I think I'd like to come and have a look at it. Is that okay? Right, you've got two Swedish girls living there. They're single and age 20. Right, okay. Yeah, no, that, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, when, when would be a good time to come and see it? Monday afternoon. Yeah, okay, no, yeah, that works for me. That, that's a good, good time for me. Um, and how exactly do I find it? Where, where is it? What was the address? Right, I get out of the tube. I turn left and it's the third house. I get out of the tube, I turn left and it's the third house on the right. Great, okay, well I'll see you 4.30 on Monday afternoon. I look forward to it.
Yeah, okay, bye Maria. Ah, oh, she sounds nice. So, um, obviously we've looked at our advert and we think it looks really nice, especially the Swedish girls. So, uh, we ring up, okay? And, um, hi there, tell them your name. You'd like to come and have a look when would be a good time. How to find it. Now, I knock on the door. Hi, Maria. I'm at the place. These are some uh, things we, we might want to say if we are looking around a flat, a house, a bed sit, a cosy bed sit even. Start with a bit of small talk. Here in Britain, we love talking about uh, the weather. Oh, it's been raining all day today. Or we like talking about the traffic. Oh, the traffic was bloody awful, okay? Bloody awful. That means really bad. The traffic was awful. So I start with a bit of small talk. It means a bit of chat, okay? Unimportant conversation. Now, you might want to ask about some rules. Am I allowed to play loud music? Practice my guitar? Am I allowed to smoke? Am I allowed to cook in the kitchen? Okay, find out the rules. Do I have to share? Again, really useful verb when we're talking about accommodation. Do I have to share the bathroom with the Swedish girls? Okay, no, that's fine. Um, how much notice? If I want to leave the flat, I have to give my notice and say, I'm really sorry, Maria, uh, I'm gonna leave now. Normally they ask you to say that uh, one month in advance. Okay, so one month is normal. And they might ask you to write it down. Okay, and if you really like it, if you really like them all, you say, when can I move in? When can I move here? But you say in. When can I move into the house? But if you don't like it, you would say, well, because you don't want to say no. No, I hate it. It's rubbish. It, I don't like it. It's really nasty flat. You don't say that, okay? You say, um, I think I'd like to think about it. Yeah, thanks so much, okay? So you don't say no. You say, I'll, I'll think about it. So, I want you to think about my quiz. You find it on ingvid.com, fill out the question, fill out the answers. Yeah, check out my videos on YouTube. Subscribe if you will, if you may, if you would like to. And if you need extra assistance, do check out Exquisite English, link below. Thank you for joining me again, bye.